So, Mr. Stuff, what does the walkathon mean to you? Uh, the walkathon to me means a few different things. I think uh, primarily it is an opportunity for the, the student body to kind of get to know each other early on in the school year. Uh, I really enjoy the fact that they, they really, the camaraderie of it and the walk especially is a big thing and I, I, I enjoy that. As for the second part of it, the money that it raises, it's definitely beneficial to the school and I think it's the first big fundraiser for Canisius High School during the school year and the students really take advantage of that opportunity to raise a lot of money for the school, no matter what the cause might be. Yeah, and just a follow up question, why didn't they make the soccer team? <laughs> why didn't Kevin make the soccer team? Ouch, well. Well, yeah, no, we're done here, we're done. <laughs> So, Mr. Combo, what does the walkathon mean to you? It's a step in the right direction. That is. Many steps. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, what does the walkathon mean to you? Well, I think the walkathon is, is a kind of good event for the entire school community, and I think it kind of helps show what Canisius is all about to the, the rest of the Buffalo community, and that we kind of put ourselves out uh, into that community, and then we show kind of what one Canisius is all about. So I think that's kind of the, the best part about the, the walkathon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Would you say that the walkathon is a swish? 100%. <laughs> a swish. <laughs> Nothing but net. Kobe. <laughs> LeBron James. So Miss Monica, obviously you're the librarian, so the improvements on the library are going to affect you the most. How would you feel about an improved library? Oh, I think that would be spectacular, don't you? I think it would be awesome that everybody would be able to use it. Hey Miss Monica, can I please have your help? Well, alrighty then. <laughs> I think it's very possible that you can use the technology as well as the books that you're going to be able to access all kinds of things while you're here. And it would be awesome if they'd actually use it. What's up, Danny? What's up? What did you come here to do today? I just came up for a paper. It's only taking about five minutes. All right, cool. You mind if we watch? A few moments later. You might, you might have to use a different computer. Yeah, I know. Buddy. Does, it, does this always happen? I don't know. Cyan, what's good, buddy? Hello there. I need help. Why are you telling me to sleep? 20 minutes later. Finally. Nah, apparently you have to do all the stuff to get the printer working. Wait, what does any of this mean? I don't even know. Oh, man. You have to type the printer name? Yes, dude. One eternity later. It's not there. So, does it always take that long to print a paper? Yeah, dude, it takes me like 30 minutes every single time. What time did you get here? Dude, I got here at 7.30 and I finished printing the paper at 8. That's ridiculous. Does, does that get you pretty frustrated? I had it, dude. I've had it with the whole library, everything. Did you, did you just rip the paper that you printed? I'm done, dude. Screw it. I, I just can't focus. Everyone's just so loud, man. You can't do this. SHUT UP! So, uh, Anthony, you got pretty mad back there. Does that usually happen? You know, just some people get really loud and really out of hand. What?
baby. But you know, anyway, I was just trying to read my book back here, and I just got to the part where they they free back. But I just can't focus. It's too loud and too annoying. Can you guys move? So, does that happen often, those freshmen getting in your way? <sighs> All the time. By the fact, it's gotten so bad that at the end of the day, I check the bottom of my shoes to make sure I didn't step on any of them. So, oh, Madhu, you're a big guy. Do you have uh, trouble getting around the library? Yeah, it's, it's horrible. I'm walking around and I just trip on a freshman. It's just, it's just horrible. It's just, it's just horrible. Yeah, they're small little buggers. So, uh, does, does that happen often? Yeah. It happens every time I try and read. Like, does that make you not want to read? Yeah, every time I try and read, I get assaulted by books. If there was a way to uh, improve the library, like a fundraiser, a walkathon of some sort, would you be willing to participate in that? If it gets me out of there in less than 30 minutes, please. So if I were to tell you we could make a way to uh, build silent study rooms, would you be into that? Oh, definitely. Having a nice silent study room would be really helpful to all the students. Great. So, if there was a walkathon to raise money for said study room, would you be willing to participate in that? I think the walkathon would be great for anything in the library. Um, if there was a way to improve the library, say a fundraiser like the walkathon, would you be willing to participate in that to help? Definitely. Like a walkathon to improve the library, would you be willing to participate in of that? Of course, I'd be down with that. I love the library. It's okay. a good time. So if I were to tell you that there was some way, maybe a fundraiser called the walkathon, would you be willing, and it would improve our library, would you be willing to do that? Yeah. Yeah. All right,